You ever wanted to ride on a train, stab your buddy in the back, or cure a disease? You're going to. Hey guys, welcome to Argent Leftovers Game Reviews. This week we've got our holiday offering, which are going to be three family-oriented games that you can buy at your local store. Generally, Target has them. Might be able to buy them at Walmart or if you have a game store near you. They're very popular games, so they should be pretty easy to find. First, we're going to start off with Ticket the Ride. So, it's you build trains around the U.S. and you see how long you can make your tracks and complete your goals at the same time. The game is five player, five players. You've got uh, individual train cards. It's a very simple game. You draw cards. You use those to build train tracks between one city and another. You have a goal to get from one city to another. Which adds you bonus points. Like if you get one from across the state, you'll get like 25 points, which right. is a lot. If you go from L.A. to New York, then you get one. Um, the fun there is other players can block you. This is a competitive game. It's not a cooperative game. Um, this one's very popular. They have a Europe expansion. They have an Asia expansion. They have another expansion that gives you uh, a sixth player. And they have things like they have a Halloween expansion where you get pumpkin trains, <laughs> which is kind of cool. You also get Godzilla in one of them. That's the one I want because yeah. Godzilla. There are giant monsters that you can add. All in all, it's a really good simple game it's not so simple it's not candy land or anything but it's something you could be able to teach somebody about seven or eight years old to play um and i don't think it's too confusing for that no. it does take about an hour to play maybe an uh, hour and a half um but it's just worth it it's really it's worth it. it really is a fun game okay um next up we go to the opposite end of the game spectrum and we have munchkin now, Munchkin is a very popular game. Very popular game. It's based off of D and D, kind of like your your role playing games, your D Dungeons and Dragons, but it's not Dungeons and Dragons. A Munchkin, in game terms, is somebody who makes the most powerful character they can get, regardless of whether or not the other characters are that powerful. You know, they're the epic gamers. The point of Munchkin is to explore a dungeon. Now, it's a card game. So you have cards in your hand that you play for your abilities and your items, and um, they also determine what monsters you fight, what curses you get. Like the giant nose? Yes, the giant nose. The shadow nose. Yeah. It's full of bad puns, really horrible puns. Um, this is one of our favorites around the house because we can all play. It doesn't take a whole lot of space. They have multiple expansions. What we have here is the deluxe version, which has got the scoring board. The objective of the game is to get to level 10 before everybody else. Now, the fun part about playing this game is the stab your buddy in the back aspect. So you can play curses on other people. You can um, steal their treasure. And then sell it, because why not? Because why not? You can change their gender. That's really fun. Um, you can get a giant tuba. You can get a giant too, but you can also get leveled down by a duck. Because duck. why are you picking up a duck in a dungeon? Bad idea. Um, this is the Deluxe Edition. You can get this at Barnes & Noble. It comes with the scoreboard, the figurines, the dice, and the basic game. Um, they have all manner of expansions. This, this is Legends. This is the recent one that just came out. And Zombies is one of the older ones, but it's one of my favorites, because Zombies. Zombies, you play, instead of a dungeon, you're trying to get away from the zombies, and uh, it, it adds, it adds, you play as the zombies. That's the fun part. You play as the zombies. Um, but you're trying to get to level 10 in all of them. All these sets can be mixed and matched. We can put Zombies and Legends, which is Greek mythology. Which is pretty cool, because Greek. Which is fun. And the basic set, we could put all of these together and have one big mashup. They have a Christmas expansion. They have ones for things like Axe Cop, the Guild. Um, we have the Munchkinomicon, if you can get the joke. Yeah, it's a, it's a Cthulhu-based. We have Munchkin Cthulhu. Um, we have Munchkin Fairies. Um, there Apocalypse. Are, I think we don't have Apocalypse. That's the one I want. That's, that's the one we want. Yeah. Um, they have Pathfinder. They have 
Munchkin Bites, which is vampires. They have, um, they just put out an Adventure Time expansion, which all of them, again, you can buy Legends and play just Legends. It is a standalone game, but you can add all the other parts as you go to... Which adds an interesting thing when you have a zombie arm and a giant rock sword. Yeah, when, you, when you're playing a hobbit that's also a super zombie that's wielding a golf cart and... Filled with ducks. A giant tuba. You know, it, it's it's funny. It's a fun game. Um, this game is a little more tactical. I think probably your 10-year-old and up may understand it. You're really going to have fun with your adult friends. Yeah. Because of the nature of some of it. Anyway, this will cost you... Um, Ticket to Ride will cost you about $50. Maybe 55 Munchkin, this set I think was either 20 or $30. Yeah. Um, probably 25 I think these are both 25 um, You can get these pretty much anywhere right now. Barnes & Noble, I know that our mall has a little kiosk that sells them. And last of all, we're going to go all the way across the spectrum from stabbing your buddy in the back to playing a cooperative game. And the name of the game is Pandemic. This is the actual box. This is an older box. The newer box has a little bit different box art. Yeah. Um, this is put out by Z-Man Games. And this is an absolutely cooperative game. Um, the goal of the game is to cure four diseases with your friends and do it before either it outbreaks so much that you can't contain it yeah. or if it mutates to a certain point. The game is you start off with red, white, black, and yellow as the four diseases. And they'll go into certain spots in the country like Asia is yellow and... Um, America is, you know, black. Right. And you know, certain people have certain abilities, like uh, the guy who I usually pay is the medic, and he'll, you know, he'll serve, delete diseases off of one area completely. Yeah, usually you have to, like, move into a spot and use an action. It, it's action-based. You use an action to remove a, a thing. He just has to move through an area to cure it. Um <laughs> Pandemic has two expansion packs that's On the Brink and In the Lab. On the Brink adds a bioterrorist who is, his goal, sorry, his goal is to cause the end of the world. This expansion is actually the On the Brink expansion. It introduces three new challenges. It gives you a virulent strain, which means that it spreads faster. It gives you mutations, which causes a fifth outbreak, and it gives you the bioterrorist who is a player working against the other players to destroy the world. This game takes about an hour. Yeah. Um, it is a, like I said before, it's a purely cooperative game. This game is difficult, don't get it wrong. The easiest version of the game we have still not beat as a family. We've gotten very, very close, but we have not completely beaten all four diseases. Um, like, the game when the diseases outbreak if there are any other diseases by it that also outbreak they'll continue to outbreak until it's uncontrollable and you have this massive badness yeah they build up in a city and then once the city hits a certain point it outbreaks in the surrounding cities and if they're close to outbreak then they'll outbreak and it'll get this cascading effect and generally by that time you're dead um what i really like about this pack is that it um everybody knows who the bioterrorist is and he also plans out his moves beforehand so he'll be like, mm, I'm put a disease here. Right. Each turn they get to write down on a little pad that's provided in the box uh, what city they're going to put their diseases into. And that way it's a little more secretive. So you don't, you can't plan against what he's doing. Uh, they're really worth it for the price. We play Ticket to Ride a lot. We play Munchkin a lot. Pandemic we don't play as much because we get frustrated with dying. I'm going to say that Munchkin and Ticket to Ride are going to be on sale because it's near Christmas. Yeah, Munchkin so, for sure. Uh, Ticket to Ride, just keep an eye on Target. I think they've had it on sale for multiple times in the last uh, six months. Barnes uh, & Noble has a lot of the Ticket to Ride stuff. I've noticed that. So Barnes & Noble has a lot of good board games. If you're looking for good board games, Barnes & Noble is a good place to go start looking. Uh, also, look at your local game stores. Find a game store. Go scout it out. You'll find some of the games that we have there. So to wrap it up, guys... Three games we reviewed, Ticket to Ride, Pandemic, and Munchkin. All good family games. Go out and grab them. So next week we're going to review Borderlands the pre-sequel. 
which I am very excited about, and we are going to review Munchkin this weekend. So We're going to do a Let's Play of Munchkin this weekend, so that y'all can see the game in action. We're going to do a shortened version of it. Um, it and should I, be pretty fun. Go ahead, play Munchkin, play Ticket to Ride, play Pandemic. Leave a comment in the box down below if you have ever played these games. Tell us what you like and what you don't like. Click the like and subscribe buttons. Go to our Facebook page. That's Facebook slash Argent Leftovers Gaming. No G. And follow us on Twitter. It's at Argent Leftovers. And uh, join us next time for Borderlands the pre sequel on the PS3. Bye. Thanks.